If you try to repair a wheel speed sensor wiring harness, your mistakes are measured in millivolts. We're gonna find out why next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. This is a follow-up to wheel speed sensor wiring harness repair. And we had a lot of questions from the audience. And their question, well, you told this the wrong way. What's the right way to do it? Well, technically, there's no right way to do it for the following reasons. The most important thing to remember about any electrical wire is the electrons that are powering the circuit and going around, they travel on the outside of the wire, not the inside. So if there's any corrosion inside the circuit, it causes resistance and this causes a voltage drop. In the case of a passive wheel speed sensor, something as small as a millivolt could cause a false activation complaint. So you're better off replacing the entire wire. Why? Because there's no way possible any amount of heat shrink tubing, liquid electrical tape, or other methods can seal it. Once water gets in, it starts to cause corrosion. Even if you solder the joint, you have to remember that when you solder two wires together, you're making them brittle at that connection. And a wheel speed sensor harness, well, it's constantly moving with the suspension and the brake system. So it's moving back and forth, cycling thousands and maybe even millions of times. This causes stress that can eventually cause a failure of your connection. That connection, when you pull the car out of the bay, it may be fine, but over time it's gonna degrade and it's gonna cause differences in voltage that will be seen at the ABS control module. This can cause wheel speed sensors to read the wrong speed and the vehicle's gonna pick up on it. Anytime that you splice a wire, you're changing its characteristics. In the case of a wheel speed sensor, you're changing how electrons flow through it. Electrons in the case of a wheel speed sensor, well, it's a very, very small measurements. In the case of a passive wheel speed sensor, we're talking millivolts of difference that the ABS HCU can detect and equate that into wheel speed or miles per hour. In the case of an active wheel speed sensor, well, you've got current flowing through this wire. If there is any diminished capacity or resistance in the wire, it's gonna change that waveform and the ABS control module will pick up on it. So you're better off going with a brand new wheel speed sensor harness instead of splicing one onto the vehicle. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.